Hello to you all. My name is Rabbi Dr. Gil Yashon Tivon. I'd like to speak to you about the parasha, which always excites me, and I'm super motivated to speak about the parasha because the parasha and the Torah in general gives us an inkling of how to run our life, how to manage and handle our every day. It's not something that happened then, it's the blueprint of Hashem of how to run our lives. Especially in that parsha of that week, it gives us more than an inkling, it gives us incentive, perspective, depth, and the know-how of how to drive ourselves into our lives in the everyday. Well, some of the secrets of Parashat B'Shalach, in which I happen to be born, so Mazal Tov for my birthday, happens to talk about three special things, and that is Kriyat Yamsuf. How do you cross the Red Sea? The Red Sea is the one of the biggest miracles. However, we know that Hashem does it within the forces of nature. There's no suddenly angels appearing from the sky, but using the forces of nature, Hashem brings about an incredible miracle. Once that miracle happens within the forces of nature, those that want to believe will always believe, and Hashem will never do such a miracle again. He does miracles in our everyday, Iman, we say in that fila. But nevertheless, we have to have an open mind. We have to see the Hasneboe, the burning bush, to notice and to recognize the miracle which is happening in our everyday life. Three things analogous to Kriyat Yamsuf, to the crossing of the Red Sea. One is the marriage of a person. Well, to have and to find your right Beshet, your right Shiduch, is a miracle above nature. And the way that Hashem handles it and puts it together is beyond our imagination. It's mind-boggling. The other issue is Parnasa, our livelihood. Every person has got his own special niche of where he belongs. Most of us, many of us, went too many years into, into school, high school, university, and most of us, nevertheless, find ourselves doing some other kind of a job for our livelihood. Meaning that we should learn that a livelihood is just a channel. Hashem wants us to realize that He is the source. And once we look for Him, we seek out for Him, then, and depending on the level of our emuna, of our trust uh, in Hashem, the way that we practically believe in Hashem in the everyday, that's as much as we can get the, um, the livelihood in our everyday life. In this parasha, we notice parashat Haman. It says there a very special verse. The sentence says, Ish to those that did extra, the extra mileage of going into the livelihood, were not that more, much more successful. And all that is, those that did a little bit less of hishtadlut, of putting in the effort, nevertheless got the same kind of results. So we understand that Parnasa, having a blessing in the house, in the home, is a great blessing. But you can be sure and clear and have the peace of mind, whatever you decided to do, whether you're a teacher or a rabbi, a lecturer or a doctor, whatever it is that you do, Hashem is with you that you should have the bracha, the blessing within what you do. And the third thing is your health. Health is something which we say in the bracha after we go out of the restroom, maflila, so it is a miracle. We are just a balloon full of holes, everywhere holes. And the Chafetz Chaim says that if you say this blessing with great intention, so to say with meditation, maflila asot, then whatever illness a person has, he's going to be cured of it because of the way that he puts this across. The, within that miracle, why did we deserve this miracle? When Bnei Israel was shouting to Hashem, then Hashem says to Moshe Rabbeinu, Lama titzakun elai? Sometimes it's not the time to daven, to pray. Many times it's just the time to do actions, to pray, to come to kolel is very important. There's nothing greater than limut Torah. However, the action that you put into it afterwards, where you show that you put your money where your mouth is, that you really are involved and engaged in actions, showing your level of faith. This is bitachon, this is the level of trust in Hashem. 
that's what Hashem wants from us to take into our everyday lives when we go into our health, when we engage in our Shiduchim, and when we go engage into our livelihood. I wish you all a very happy, beautiful week and full of engagements through the Torah pearls for this week. Shalom and call to.